2018. The next product that has those three pans is from ABH, and this is an ABH blush trio that I really like. I know it's very hard to not only hit pan on a blush, but use up a blush. So that's why I'm giving myself a year to use up this blush. This I was such a dear sweet summer child. <laughs> why did I think I could finish a blush in a year? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and I'm here to finish up a kind of failed project pan. <laughs> this is my 9 pan 19, and as you saw in that beginning clip, I was very optimistic about this. It was my first time doing a year-long project pan aside from my Pan That palette, and I've learned a lot. <laughs> and mainly what I've learned is that I don't like spending a year on products that aren't eyeshadow. I have a big makeup collection now, and I don't think it was as large, oh, well, it wasn't as large as when I first started this project, but I still had a sizable collection. And what I've noticed is that over the course of this year, I got bored of reaching for these same face products, because there were times with my other smaller project pans where I was panning enough for a full face, and so I wasn't shopping my stash. I was neglecting the rest of my collection. And that's not what I want to do. I want to get full use out of my collection. So I'm calling this a failed because I didn't hit any of my original goals and because I don't really want to do another year long project pan. But I did learn a lot. Like I said, now I know. Now I know I want to shop my stash more and more thoroughly. Now I don't want to spend a year on products because I thought I wouldn't get bored because they're like your basic bronzer contour blush but I really wanted to expand and like try new things just within my own collection but I couldn't because I was like I need to pan this I need to pan this I need to pan this and I didn't like that so this is where we're finishing with the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette I thought I really could finish this up I repressed these last two shades and I think it was like in October I was like so sick of these shades I was so sick I wanted to I wanted to shop my stash and find the bronzers I hadn't been touching in nine months. I wanted to find more contours. I wanted to try out my face palettes because by focusing on this, I really was neglecting all of my other face palettes and I love face palettes and I have a lot of them. So I think I got my money's worth out of this. I wanted to pan this because I still own Kat Von D products even though like I said in the intro, I don't support her brand. She's very problematic, but I have the products and I didn't want to just throw them away because I already spent the money on them. So I think I got my money's worth out of this. I'm I'm being honest. I'm sick of it by now. So I'm probably just going to declutter these last two shades. But I did use them like for a year straight. <laughs> the next product, I'm not going to declutter, but I'm definitely going to put it away for a good long time. This is the blush trio and my god did I really think I could use this whole thing up in a year? It took me, I'll post the video in the cards, it took me nearly 280 something ish days to just hit pan on a blush. Not even like finish, it is, it's one blush. It's one blush. God, it, I'm glad that it made me realize how far a blush can go. It really stopped me from making some unnecessary purchases, but I really wanted to use the rest of the blushes in my collection, and really, I wasn't, just because I was like, I gotta use this, I gotta use this, I gotta use this. I completely trashed the packaging because I wanted to depot them, which helped me use it more, um, but I do have to recycle the packaging after this because they don't actually fit back in there. I just put it in there for the thumbnail and the picture. I'm glad that I realized, finally, that I look best with a peach blush because of my undertones and because of my skin tones, but I am also sick of this product. I don't want to do any more year-long project pans aside from my Pan That palette because I have such a big collection and I want to really focus more on shopping my stash and rotating my collection better. And I feel like these were a hindrance to me trying to rotate my stash because even though I would do every like monthly makeup baskets and I would pull products in, I would only use them one or two times because I was thinking, oh, you need to use your 9 Pan 19, you need to finish that up. So yeah, I feel like through 2019, I had one extremely successful year-long project pan, and I had one that was almost a complete and utter failure, and I learned a lot through both of them. So if you're interested in watching this playlist of the whole 9pan19, it's kind of a hot mess, but I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to watch 
me go from a sweet summer child to a, uh, a cynic. <laughs> so that'll be up in the cards if you're interested. Um, but yeah, so I'll do, I'll keep continuing. I have some shorter project bands that I'm still interested in, but I'm not doing any more year long ones aside from my pen that palette, which will be going up January 1st, which should be tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.